Thomas Gollop going off the inside in the red helmet. Nicky Pedersen goes off gate number two. Andreas Johnson is off gate three. And Runa Holter is going to go off gate number four. Gollop then off the inside in red. All the attention is on that man. No question about it. He's been in brilliant form once again tonight. Really showing great composure. Will he make the start here, Gollop? He didn't quite make the start initially, but he got the speed into that first turn. And he's done that many times tonight. Gollop has the lead with Nicky Pedersen second. Coming through into third in the yellow helmet is Runa Halter with Andreas Jonsson training in the back. Gollop though looking in complete control of this first semi-final and looks to be heading through to yet another Grand Prix final. Yeah, he looks terrific out in front, no question about that. Runa Halter steaming around the outside. He was all over, the, all over the place there earlier on and really finding it difficult. But Gollop already has stretched a lead that it's just going to be absolutely insurmountable. You know, he's looking terrific out in front. Pedersen settling in second place. Can he make a second final on the bounce? Well, this race and the way that Gollop has got it under control means that he could well be world champion within the next few minutes as Halter has that third place now. There's a real battle for second, third, and the last place is oh. Johnson. Johnson locks up and almost takes Halter with him. Sensational stuff <laughs> on the back. <laughs> Look at Rudy Halter. He's gone from the back. He's neck and neck with Pedersen. Oh, oh. the red wheel. Out of shape. Rudy Halter entertaining everyone. Ah. Oh, Nicky Pedersen. That must have been so close back on the inside. The run to the line. Pedersen hangs on. How on earth have they stayed on their bikes? That is sensational. Thomas Gollum takes the victory. And it's over to Yara Campbell in the second semi-final. Has to finish first or second. Anything else. And Gollum will be world champion. Gollum leads this meeting with 16 points and Pedersen's on 11. What a race that was. He knows he's almost there. He can touch the world title. Well, fabulous performance from Thomas Gollum out in front, but he has a pretty simple ride, to be perfectly honest. The action that went on behind him was truly spectacular. Initially, Pedersen chases Gollum down the back straight. Rudy Holter, who goes from last to third to last to second on the back wheel, out of control. Pedersen now roars back up the inside. That must have been tight as he went through there. Really tight. Look at this. Rudy Holter on the back wheel, out of shape. But this man, he's not out of shape. He's looking good. Will it go his way now? Yara Campbell in yellow has to finish first or second here, otherwise Thomas Golub will be crowned world champion. Off the inside, Chris Harris in red. Greg Hancock goes off gate two in blue. Both those riders looking good for the top eight now for next season. Hans Anderson goes off gate three in white. And Yara Campbell going off the outside. His pit crew watch on. Remember, he has to finish first or second, or that man will be world champion at the end of this race. Second semi-final here in Terenzano. Away from the start they go, and Hancock's got the lead early on. A superstar for the American, and what can Hample do in yellow now? Oh, Harris has come up the inside into second. Hample's got third now. He has to pass Chris Harris, or Thomas Gollum will be world champion. He'll be watching on in the pits as Hampel goes high and wide. The lead is with Greg Hancock. Second place, Chris Harris. At the moment, Thomas Gollum, the man at the bottom right-hand side of your screen, will be crowned world champion. He knows he's there, but Hampel's coming strong here. Unbelievable, you can't believe the scenes we're seeing here. Such tension in the pits. Gollum doesn't know which way to look. Hampel all over the back of Chris Harris. Unbelievable speed shown there. He's been frustrated tonight. He's had speed, but he hasn't been able to get to the front often enough. Round the outside he goes. Greg Hancock comfortably out in front, but the action is all about second and third. Can Hample make it? He can be sure Harris is desperate for a place in the final. Hample now going into the last lap. He's really going to have to charge hard after Harris. Thomas Gollum is on the verge of being crowned world speedway champion, but Hample is going to have one last bid to try and pass Chris Harris. Is it all over? Is Gollum going to be crowned champion? Here comes Hample in yellow. Yara Campbell in yellow. Down oh. to the finish line. Oh. Oh. Can't split them. Unbelievable. Gollum said no. Just hang on. What a way. What a dramatic way for the second semi-final to come to its conclusion. Oh, that is so very tight. How do you split them from that picture? The referee has got to decide here. There's no question that Hample, a yard after the line, he's definitely in front and on the line itself. Very difficult to choose between Harris and Hample. Here's the result. And Harris has got second place, so Thomas Gollum is the new World Speedway champion. Hancock wins yes. it. Harris second. And let the celebrations begin for Thomas Gollum, who is champion of the world. Brilliant stuff there. Such a 
been such a super performance this season, all season long. Got to give him a lot of credit. Thomas Gollum, World Speedway Champion. Dobry wieczór Polakom, good morning everybody. And very happy in the today World Champion for me in the 20 years in the race in the all weeks, all month, all year, and uh, you must, you win. Tonight is very happy, and uh, thank you for all team uh, together in the working, and uh, my sponsors, and uh, everybody, thank you very much. 37 years has been a long time for Poland. It's very long, uh, I'm sorry, 37 years, and uh, it's not got medal in Polish country. It's a uh, big difference today, it's, tonight is gold medal in my Poland.